Alright, hello guys. I think this is uh, day 62. Posting every single day. It shouldn't have posted yesterday, but I uh, did not have the greatest day yesterday, to be honest with you. I spent like half the day studying, then half the day procrastinating, scrolling X and watching YouTube videos and reading Big Nate comics. Um, but yeah, now we're back into it. I always kind of have a problem focusing when I'm studying something that I don't find too interesting. I'm just studying for this info systems analysis and design midterm, which is like project management stuff, which I find is interesting. So <laughs> it's been a little bit of a struggle, but uh, it's definitely not as bad as as has been in the past but yeah I've barely touched root.dev because I was studying so yeah we're just gonna pick up where we left off it's gonna be a pretty short video today after tomorrow all my midterms will be over so we'll get back onto this as you'll see it's an amazing go program it's queries not exactly all around we used it before Right, as you will see, well, that's how it worked. Okay, this is different. Here, as you will see, create a file because you will see YAML. Gonna use your IDs for eyes and use gen random UID. What is this? I wish I had an example, but I assume you just run gen random UID. AI is pretty good for just or an insert statement. So I'm guessing we just say this ten underscore random underscore UUID. I guess that should work. Okay, 
we can use it now to get the current timestamp. I saw them do this in some other code. Yeah, this should be dollar sign one because the first thing we're getting in is being passed in. Generate the go code. So that looked to have worked. It didn't even work. Oh yeah, we need to install this. Yeah, this is a warning. It always adds indirect, but apparently it's supposed to be direct, so the comment is removed. Or post SQL driver. Same thing with this. If I can find what I mean, like go find import. Understood words because we don't use it anywhere. It's like if we had unused variable, create.env file. So the connection string is right here. Never use a plain text env file. Add to the ignore file as well. Okay, yeah, it's a good idea. Add a query parameter to the end of the connection strings to stable SSL. It's just another package that pulls in environment variables. Load the read environment variable and load them into env this process. Because those functions as close as possible to start program and dealing with main. Call load that in your arms, it will deal with loading to the env in the curve path. Interesting, so now we can get the database URL by using the OS library. Next, open a connection to the database.
User SOC generating database package. A new database queries and store in your API config structure. DB queries. Database dot new DB and store in the config struct. something new for DB queries. Alright, and then we here where we've created the figus API config dot db queries equal to db queries. Is this just dereferencing the pointer? Is that do we want to pass in here? Do we want to pass in the the address? Or no, this is not a pointer. Okay, I think that's why this. this look like it worked there we go all right yeah i know this is a short video but um gotta get back to studying i will see you guys in the next one